Good Monday morning, everyone. It is time to talk about the markets with Jim Cramer on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. All right, Jim, we're expected to get that tax vote this yep. week. What do you think? Well, I think that uh, a lot of numbers have to go higher. Uh, domestic companies, uh, whether it be United Rentals, which I interviewed this morning for Mad Money, whether it be the banks, and you see those are on fire, uh, all sorts of retailers. The analysts are going to be coming out within the next five days. They kind of want to wait to actually have it signed and raise numbers and raise numbers rather dramatically. I think that people are going to be concerned, what are you going to do with your capital structure? I think some are going to use the extra money to buy back stock. Some will do it to boost dividend and some will do it to grow the company. And it makes it so that you've got a much more exciting market, which is why you see the average is up so high. And we should point out that Cisco CEO Chuck Robbins told you last month that he would use the money to invest in the company. Cisco, uh, it's interesting because uh, this, in, this Akamai mm. that Elliott Partners has gotten into, Chuck's going to have to kick the tires. Mm. Uh, so, will, uh, Mar so will Safra Katz and Mark Hurd at Oracle, Larry Ellison, because Akamai's done nothing for multiple years. It would be terrific for them to buy. I think that Elliott's going to get a real big win in Akamai. Speaking of deals, we do have two this morning, Hershey Amplify yes. and Campbell Soup Snyder's. Well, this is the front of the store in the snack food business. Uh, the snacks are a uh, millennial favorite. How do we know this? Because Inger Nui from PepsiCo owns the greatest single snack food franchise Frito-Lay. These guys are all trying to nip at Frito-Lay and they're all going popcorn. Uh, uh, boom Chicka is the, uh, you, you've got this really interesting Boom Chicka, Chick Boom popcorn. ConAgra. ConAgra reports this week, it is on fire. Popcorn is on fire. So Amplify doing Skinny Pop, which is a, a fantastic acquisition for them. Uh, it, it, it just makes so much sense that it, it's kind of like, well, why didn't it happen earlier? And for Hershey, again, you know, th this is just so brilliant. Now, uh, it, Denise Morrison at Campbell's, she has struggled and struggled and struggled. But when you look at that snack aisle, potato chip aisle, they have, um, let's just say, they are in a top three potato chip. Potato chips have big turnover. Turnover means the supermarkets like it. The snack aisle and the, the, this is what millennials like. They like the snack aisle, they like poultry, and they like frozen food, which, by the way, is ConAgra. That's Tyson. So this, these are both brilliant acquisitions. And for Denise Morrison, getting at Campbell's, getting it to be less can, canned soup and more snack, it has to happen. That stock is lagged. Uh, I like it. I like it. And, and you know what? I, I'm not as big fan of General Mills. Wells Fargo has an upgrade General Mills. They report later this week. That stock's moved from 50 to 57. I'd be careful there. But I think that Campbell's deserves to, uh, you should buy Campbell's off this. And should you buy Hershey? Uh, no, because Hershey turned down a bit. But Campbell's is very exciting for me. And you mentioned Pepsi earlier, a holding of Action Alerts Plus. Yeah, you know, all-time high. And uh, you, everybody wants to be PepsiCo, but there's only one PepsiCo. Mm. All right, speaking of the consumer space, P&G finally adding Nelson Peltz. What took so long? Well, I think that, boy, they really didn't want Nelson on the board. Uh, you know, they did that recount that showed that he was in. They were very quick to say that he didn't have it. This is Tryon. If you look at the white paper of Tryon, you'll see that they really want to upend the model proctor. Uh, the way they want these business units to be much more accountable, I think that it makes a, a tremendous amount of sense to do. I know that David Taylor had already been doing his own reorganization. He's a very smart man, but Proctor's regarded as being uh, insul insulated. Cincinnati company insulated. This will shake them up. Uh, is it a reason to buy? There are many reasons to buy Proctor, but it certainly adds to the allure of the story. All right, meanwhile, Jim, J.P. Morgan upgrading Twitter, no longer a takeover target. No, I think that Twitter, this is what Anthony Noto, COO, CFO, has been saying over and over again. Look at the daily average users. Look at the growth. They've now had four quarters of daily average user growth. Uh, there's really just not a lot of ways to play social media. There's Facebook and there's Twitter, and, there, and Snap didn't work. It, when Snap came public, a lot of the very uh, smart people at Twitter were saying, go short Snap and long Twitter. Well, it's really panned out. All right, Jim, meanwhile, give us a preview of what you have on Mad Money tonight. Well, we've got um, Ollie's Bargain Store. Why is that important? Because, boy, this domestic uh, cut, cut rate, low price theory is really working. Uh, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, and Ollie's. And Ollie's is a regional and national story, which is a closeout. 
You, it, it, stores don't want merchandise, they dump them off on Ollie's. And then we have United Rentals. Today's the 20th anniversary to the day. Mike Nealon tells a very compelling story. I did interview him already because they rang the bell. Uh, I think that stock can go very high. All right, Jim, before we go, it was quite a nice victory yesterday for the Eagles. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's an ugly win, but it's a W. I think that everyone's now questioning the defense. May I remind people that Eli Manning uh, could be a Hall of Famer, and he had a lot of pride. Uh, yes, there was some weakness in, uh, in our cornerbacks, but I basically say that any game that gets you so you have a bye is a win. That gives Nick Foles plenty of time to work that offense. He did have four TDs. He looked like the Nick Foles of old, not the, uh, the old, old Nick Foles when he just was a star for us. I feel bad, Giants. Uh, it was a decent, it's a decent franchise, and I, I, it's hard to believe how much they fell. Uh, but I think the Eagles have a distinct advantage. They'll work out the defense. That's Jim Swartz. Uh, I think the game that really captivated attention uh, was that patriots Steeler game, and I think that there are a lot of people upset about that. Uh, what can I say? The Pats, are, Gronk's the best player in the NFL. All right, the now that Wentz went down. The game goes on. Yeah. Jim Kramer, thank you thank so you. much. Jim and I are going to continue the conversation on ActionAlertsPlus.com. Yes. Many more stocks to talk yes. about.